YouTube, let me show you where we are. Today, we are at Elk Meadow Park. And it is, without a doubt, Meadowicious. Kabam. Nothing like seeing this as you enter into a trail, if you're someone like me. You know me, I'm already freaked out about stuff like that, so that's certainly going to keep us on our toes, but it is really insanely big and open. There's, it's a busy trail, there's other people on it, even these folks with the kids, so I feel fairly safe and confident. But. So this is a four mile loop, and as always with these larger loops, that means I'm not going to have you out with me the entire time, but you know, I'll pick up the old recorder, the camera from here and there when I find something interesting and share it with you. I mean, just off the bat, this opening. Again, you guys know how much I love open space. Look at this. Holy. It's just. It's just crazy. I'm really going to try not to harp on it, but seriously, look at that beautiful blue nice fluffy clouds behind us and then you turn around and face where we're going check out this crazy meadow open space in front of me all these greens alrighty we turned around a corner and you could see the light just opened up and how different everything looks. Got some bikers coming down. Check out these beautiful flowers. Some speedy bikers. The completely different feel all of a sudden. Like, holy cow. Everything just... You can hear the birds chirping all of a sudden. And the greens are much brighter. Look at all of these trees. So, we are in Evergreen, Colorado. That is where this trail is located. Um, if anyone outside of Colorado is watching this, we're semi-close to Red Rocks. That's the thing you could probably um, relate to most. One of the best concert venues out there. So, Evergreen, Colorado has lots of beautiful green trees. I know I sound like an idiot. I assume these are evergreens, but hand to God, I have no idea. This is pretty cool looking, the way the shadows and then more of the light out there. I love that kind of light play back and forth like that. Hopefully we get up this hill and there's a nice little view for us. Definitely increasing our elevation. Give you a nice shot of the Rockies out there. Like we talk about all the time, no matter where you go in Colorado, if you look to one direction, you're usually going to see the Rocky Mountains. And uh, we're continuing our ascent upwards. Nice little grove here. I always like these trails that go through the woods. Again, you can see the different shades of green depending on how the light's hitting in front of us. Thank the Lord I see a bench ahead of us. Good Lord YouTube, I am so out of shape. We are going to rest it up at the bench. Looks like there's a some sort of view behind it. And then we continue to ascent upwards. Whew, let's get some water. Check this out. Entering into some really cool wooded area. Definitely a little Hansel and Gretelish. Not quite eerie enough for Hansel and Gretel, but um, definitely some real woods. I love real woods, and this is the real deal. I am totally thinking about that black bear warning now. Like I'd forgotten about it, and now that I'm all alone in the semi-creepy woods by myself. I'm a little freaked out. 
no bears, no bears, no bears. Just trees. Trees and no bears. That's what we're looking for. We love trees. We don't, well, it's not that we don't like bears. We love bears. We just don't want to see one in the wild. Another beautiful view as we still continue to climb upwards. I know we must be close to the summit. Summit. It's not like I'm on a real mountain. I just mean the apex of this trail. All right, YouTube, this is risky. We were on the Meadow Walk Trail, but I think we started on the Elk Ridge. So I just got off the Meadow Walk and jumped onto the Elk Ridge because my sense of direction tells me that this is the way we need to go. But um, I might have seriously fucked us. <laughs> not us, because you're not here. Fuck me. We're going to see. I've got a semi-good feeling about this, though. One of the few gifts God has given me is a really good sense of direction. So, even though my brain keeps telling me I should have stayed on that metal mark trail, like my heart, my heart feels like we should be going this way on the Elk Ridge Trail. I mean, it's a big freaking loop overall. How lost can I possibly get? Just absolutely beautiful out there. Like every time you turn a little bend on this trail, it just opens up a whole different view or appreciation. This is a great, great freaking trail. If you're in Denver, it's about 35, mi 35 miles west. I highly suggest it. Beautiful fields down there. Mountains in the background. So we've been descending a pretty good amount and I'm still not 100% sure we're going the exact right way. I mean, we can't be too far off because we're heading down and we're heading west, no, east, which is uh, where the parking lot is. So either way, I mean, we may have to take a long way around or something, but I'm still feeling we're in the right way. Alrighty, we were smart. Even though my brain said to stay on the Meadowlark Trail, we got off onto the Elkridge Trail, and this is exactly where we want to be. I am proud of myself that I uh, did that. Because me in the woods and nature, <laughs> it's not always the best. But check it out, right? Doesn't this all big pasture and field look familiar? It's kind of where it all started. Hell yeah, YouTube. That was one hell of a loop. So when we came in, I got a couple of pictures of this meadow with more of the blue sky and light and clouds. I'm going to take a couple now with these storm clouds and um, we'll put them, you know, side by side up, uh, up here in the video. Going to give you guys one last glimpse of this meadow here. This was the original meadow we walked into and it's just so beautiful I wanted you to see it one more time before um, we jump on in the van so enjoy this last view of this green deliciousness with a little hint of purple wildflowers in the front for you dang YouTube that was a fun little adventure we just had together had some great greens we had some storm clouds we got a little bit of blue clouds uh, not blue clouds blue sky with some white clouds and we're able to work some contrast maybe. Um, I don't know. Overall, oh my god, there was just some insane fucking lightning. Alright, YouTube, this was a great time. We're gonna get in the van before we get struck by lightning. I will see you on the next video.